What is the life cycle of a snake? Well, to be frank, it's not that much different than you and me. Um, snakes start off as eggs. Uh, they're usually laid, though sometimes, like in some boa species, the, the species is what's called ovoviviparous, which means that they hold the eggs internally and hatch them inside their body and then give birth to the, uh, the snakes. So it appears as live birth, though technically and scientifically doesn't constitute as live birth. Um, and then from then, they hatch out of the eggs. Baby snakes are, are called neonates. And uh, from there, as they gr eat and grow and shed their skin, they become what we call juvenile snakes. And then after a time, they mature out and they be become sexually mature. And that's what we use to, to define as an adult snake. So an adult snake is not a certain length necessarily, but it's a snake that is sexually mature and ready for reproduction. Um, there are uh, many different types of snakes and many different ways to judge neonate from juvenile from uh, mature adult. Uh, it can be anything from size to coloration. In fact, some snakes like uh, green tree pythons and emerald tree boas, when they're born, uh, are radically different colors than the adults. Uh, they're often born in, in vibrant yellows and oranges and reds, and then as they mature out into an older adult, they lose all those vibrant colors and become a beautiful green. Um, so the life cycle of a snake is not all that different from you and me, but it has its own little in, you know, foibles and, and, and pieces of, uh, of uh, beauty to marvel at.